All right, hey guys, what's up? This is Kula here. So how's it going, guys? How's it going? Is there any new games that you guys are playing right now? Because at the moment, for me, I've been playing Octopath Traveler, and that game is freaking epic. Oh my god, it's it's so awesome, guys. It's so awesome. It really like brings me back to uh, the Final Fantasy VI eras, like the 8 bits and such. Like the the graphics are so much better at the moment with the 8 bits and stuff. But man, it really brings me back, and it's so awesome. It gives me the uh, nostalgic vibe, you know? Like, if you guys want to get hit by the nostalgia, nostalgia, right? Try this game out, the Octopath Traveler. It's on Steam as well, but then it's not really on sale, even if it's on a, a summer Steam sale at the moment. It's not on sale, but if you check out Instant Gaming, that's where I bought Octopath Traveler too, but then it's 25% off there, so maybe check that out, because that game, guys, is freaking awesome. It's epic. Okay. Back to Shadowverse, back to Shadowverse. Okay, so have you guys checked the tournament winning decks for uh, the Shadowverse yet? Because there is just one thing, one thing I'm sad about. There isn't any Dragoncraft decks. There's there's all these other classes, right? Look at look at uh, Runecraft, they got three decks. And it um, seems like Swordcraft has two. Shadowcraft has one, 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 and one. But Dragoncraft, guys, it's got zero. All right, let's change that up. Let's change that up. And the reason why I think Dragoncraft is doing bad right now is because no one's playing the Heaven's Gate because the Heaven's Gate is the best deck for Dragoncraft. Hands down, it is one of the best. Okay, so here it is. This is going to be my Dragoncraft uh, Heaven's, Gate, Heaven's Gate deck. <laughs> it's called Heaven's Gate, right? And I think I called it Haven's Gate. Let's change that up. Let's change that up. <laughs> that really confused me there. Okay, Heaven's Gate. There it is. The best deck for Dragoncraft. Okay, so we got all these uh, high cost followers, obviously. We got the Genesis Dragon Disaster. We got the Dagon as well, the Zoe. Uh, we're missing... No, we got the Zell as well. So, obviously, my ideal here is to get the Dagon and the Zell combo. But if not, you know, we got the backup Prince Kikudas as well. We got the Steel Clad, we got the Jabberwock. Everything is pretty damn good, I think. We got the Hawking Dragonute as well. It's a 7 4 Rush Ward. Can't take more than one damage at a time. If you evolve it, it can't be destroyed by uh, spells and effects, which is really annoying against uh, sort, uh, Runecrafts. So hopefully, these cards, you know, these new Rebirth of Glory cards, will do good with the Heaven's Gate. Let's do this. Let's go, guys. Alright, so we're queued up for a game here. It's gonna be against... What? It's a Dragoncraft, guys. I thought I thought this class was extinct. I thought it was all just uh, Vengeance Blood and Haven at the moment, but... We got a mirror match. I don't think it's gonna be a Heaven's Gate, but... Man, it's gonna be risky to put up Heaven's Gate. Okay, so should we keep the Jabberwock? Jabberwock's not that bad. We could keep him. Disciple Disdain, Genesis of Legend is definitely a, a must keep for sure. Yeah, I don't know if I need Jabberwock to be honest. I don't need Jabberwock. What do we get? A Warbreaker Dragoon. Nice. 6 cost 5-5. Five, five. It's pretty good, man. It's an underrated card, I think. Not a lot of people use it, but I think it's a, it's a pretty good card. Okay, so we got the Prince of Cutis, we got the Righteous Dragoon as well. Um, we could put out the Disciple Disdain here, and then put out Genesis of Legend. I think that might be better, the drawing for us at the moment. Okay, let's do that. Wow, I never knew he had he had a mustache. I think he would look better without a mustache. But, there's Apollo. Interesting. This is going to be interesting if he's playing a Heaven's Gate as well, man. Okay, so... So we got that Righteous Dragon for next turn, and what do we have at turn 4? We don't really have any turn 4. I guess we could get that Dragon's Hand Spur. Skaslacha, interesting. Let's deal with that 1-2. And let's put the dra uh, Righteous Dragon and the Dragon's Hand Spur. Give it to him! Oh, that's, that's fine, that's fine. Okay. So at least we have a turn four, and then we have the Heaven's Gate coming, guys. I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Turn five, no matter what he has. That's right. I said it. No matter what he has, we're gonna put it out. We just gotta, man. We just gotta go balls deep with Heaven's Gate. 
You can't, you can't puss out. You can't puss out. Let's do this. Smear at the same, okay. Oh, interesting. He kept the, uh, he kept the bane. He kept the bane. Oh. <laughs> that means we could put two Heaven's Gate out. That is amazing. Okay, let's evil this guy. <laughs> let's evil this guy. Okay, um, should we use it? I think we could just keep it, man. It might be in the way for the Heaven's Gate, though, right? That's true. It might be in the way. Let's use it. Okay, so we got a 3 4 Bane. And, uh, we could do double Heavens. We could. What's he got here? Hopefully he uh, just uh, deals with that 3-4 Bane. Nice! Yes! <laughs> Heaven's Gate! Hatsudo! And obviously you gotta say... You gotta, you gotta greet this person. Yoroshiku! <laughs> Yoroshiku! <laughs> he likes it, man. Oh my god, he's a Mare Bane. That is, that is amazing. <laughs> See, this is what you gotta do with Dragoncraft. You gotta play Mare Bane's Heaven's Gate. No, no, they don't have uh, any, like, constructed anymore. They gotta play Meme, guys. Okay. Okay, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. So, we could do the true dragon. We could do Zoe first, or we could keep the Zoe. We could keep the Zoe. <laughs> we could definitely keep the Zoe here. Okay, um, let's do the War Baker Dragoon to probably True Dragon. Okay. It's a little bit of waste, but you know what? It's fine. It's fine. We got late game. We got late game Princess to do this. Let's just see what we get here. Masamune. Hmm. I have to deal with that, right? Yeah, I should deal with that. <laughs> I should deal with that, for sure. I had to use two cards on an 8 8. That's kind of ridiculous. But it's okay. It's okay. It's because we got Mickey. Okay, what's he got here? Turn 7. What's it gonna be? I don't have any minions, so we can't really put a Gamu out. Well, it's got the uh, Mirror Bane effect, so any card right now would be pretty strong. What is it going to be? I want to put out another Heaven's Gate. We might be able to put out another Heaven's Gate next turn. What is it going to be? Wait, so since he has a Mirror Bane deck, everything is going to be minus 10 cost for him too? Oh no. Oh my god. But it's a Mary Bane, so he doesn't really want to put out too many minions. Oh. Look at that. Look at that. A zero cost Zoe? Is that even possible? Okay, so, um. Let's see. I think I might have just put out the Prince of Cutis here. I know, I know Prince of Kiku, this is a little bit too strong, but you know what? There's Vengeance Flood, there's uh, the Puppet Portal Crafts, there's the Elena Haven. There's so many OP decks at the moment, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care, there's, there's so many OP decks now, right? Let's just have fun with Shadowverse at the moment. What's he got? Man, I guess the Heaven's Gate didn't really work out for him because he can't really use the Mare Bane's effect if he uh, puts out too many teams. What the heck? What? He's only got one. Oh. Okay, that's fine. So, what's his zero cost gonna be? What? He just ends his turn there. <laughs> What is that? Is that like a 20, minus 20 cost Zoe? That's a minus 20 cost Zoe, guys. So. So, I just win, right? 
That's, uh, yeah, Scorpion of Greed. <laughs> and Zoe. Wow. This is how you play Dragon Ball, guys. <laughs> That's how you play. <laughs> Alright, I don't think I can do any better than that, to be completely honest, but we're going to be going one more game. Let's go. Alright, we're queued up for our game here. It's going to be against a Portacraft Orcus, eh? Okay, this is going to be interesting, I think. Because even if I put out Heaven's Gate, his puppets are zero cost anyways, right? So... It's going to be pretty uh, pretty hard for him. Um, okay, let's keep the Poseidon, maybe? No, I don't really need the Poseidon. Let's keep the Servant Disdain for sure. Pure Voice Dragoon and Anna Rose. And we're going first. If we're going second, Anna Rose would have been perfect, but that's fine. Okay, so should I put out Servant of Disdain first or Masamune? <laughs> I don't have to do anything here, to be honest. Let's not do anything. <laughs> Let's not do anything, and then we could use Servant Disdain and the Disdainful Rending if he puts out something really strong here. I doubt it. Prototype? Okay, so it's gonna be a, a Makina Portacraft. That has Belfmit in it. Interesting, interesting. I like it. Okay, so let's use the uh, Servant of Disdain. And the Disdainful Rending. So we'll deal with the 2 2. Let's see what we get. A Genesis of the Legend. Perfect, that is perfect. Okay. So what should we do? What should we do? We could put out Genesis of Legend and Masamuna if we want, or just a pure voice dragoon. Hoverboard mercenary. Okay. What else? A magma Whoa. Oh, it puts some random Magma card. That's an interesting card. I don't have any copies of the Magma Giant, but that sounds pretty that sounds pretty good. Okay, so let's use the Genesis of Legends and the Masamune. <laughs> okay, perfect, perfect. And I'm gonna say it guys, no matter what, no matter what, we putting Heaven's Gate out, turn five. Let's go. What's he got? What's he got? A tea leg? Okay, that's fine with me. And a hoverboard. I don't think he's gonna Evo here. <laughs> or is he? Yeah, right? Okay. Heaven's Gate, guys. Oh, we got a hockey stack. Okay, so should I Evo here? I could Evo here. The reason why I want to Evo here is I want to deal with that, and I want him to deal with this next turn as well. And if it's uh, Lashena, well, he didn't really put out a Lashena right here. What's a turn five? Mm, it could be an orb. That's right. It could be an orb. So let's put that's Evo Masamune. Heaven's Gate. Hatsudo. All right, let's pump it up. Let's go. A four-three bane. What's he gonna put? If he puts out the uh, the orb here, you know we may have a chance. We have a lot of chance. Puppet shot. That's fine. Okay. So we got the uh, the ruinous dragon as well. So we could deal with one of the uh, the amulets if we have to. If we really have to. Oh wait, so that means that we could deal with the uh, the, the orb as well. Hmm. Okay, so what's it gonna reduce? Hulking Giant? Really? <laughs> Hulking Giant is reduced, guys. What about Warbreaker and Hulking Giant? Warbreaker, Hulking Giant, oh my god, I think that's really strong. Okay, so let's use the Warbreaker. Interesting, and the Hulking Giant. This is my first time using Hulking Giant. Interesting, a big stomp, a big stomp on the board. 
Alright, let's Evo. Okay, what's he gonna do against this guy, right? He can't... <laughs> How's he gonna deal with that? 7-3. Can't take more than one damage at the time. Can't be destroyed by spells and effects, but I mean... But I mean... He's got the puppet. If he, got, if he has another puppet here, if he has another one. Oh, but he's only... Oh, this place a bot as well. Interesting. Okay, so he was able to deal with it. He's got three Evos. They got none. That's not good. I kind of... I kind of... I kind of played really bad there. Definitely a terrible play. Do not play like me there. Okay, so... Hmm, I think this one would be better. The Dragon's Command, for sure. Okay, so let's use the Ruinous Dragon. And then let's put the, the Pure Voiced Dragoon out. Let's get the Dragon's Command. Heck, we can also put out the, uh, the Anna Rose out as well. Alright. Alright. We need more cards. We definitely need more cards right now. Because we could pretty much use all these cards next turn, I think. Well, we'll see. Excel, okay. He's got one um, artifact, yeah. A four, five. Cat gunner. He must have, um, what's his name? He must have a Maisha, right? And it seems like he doesn't really need a Eva point right now, too, which is kind of crazy. He hasn't used any of his Eva points. Oh, he's got one more card. Oh. He's gonna go face with that? Might go face with that. Interesting. 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 <laughs> so we could do Gal Mew and Steel Clad. Right? Yeah, we could do Gal Mew and Steel Clad. How is he gonna deal with the Steel Clad, right? Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Oh my god, we could have a Wind Blast Dragon as well. That's too strong. Okay, let's put the Steel Clad out. Let's, uh, let's just use it. Oh, right. It gives me it gives me these cards. I thought it summons it. Wait, I forgot about that. But anywho, how is he going to deal with the steel-clad Minotaur here? He's got two cards. I think we're going to be fine. Mecha Gun Wilder. Okay. Analyze the artifact. That's fine with, that's fine with me. <laughs> that's fine with me. Another analyzing artifact. That's fine with me. <laughs> oh my god, this card is definitely a bane to the uh, artifacts for sure. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But yes, guys. See, we gotta play Heaven's Gate, guys. That's what we gotta do. We're gonna play some Heaven's Gate. <laughs> Two wins. I like that. I like that. So this is the deck, guys. Uh, I say, I say it's, it's a, it's worth a try for sure. <laughs> I mean, you might not need to Evo the Dra Hulking Dragon Newt. I think that's a misplay by me. But that was really fun. Oh my god, Heaven's Gate guys is such a fun deck. Like, you just gotta go balls deep. That's the thing though. Turn five, just put it out, and then you'll eventually win late game. <laughs> Anywho, I think that's gonna be it for today. So thank you so much for watching, guys, and hopefully you guys have a great day. Peace out.